Hello folks, today I have a very old question, it's of 2002, it is about time when I started teaching in A-levels after finishing my university. Uh, it's 2002, May, June, paper 2 and the question number is 3 and in those days we didn't have any variants. So the first, and this question is about uh, the chapter of forces. The first two question says, uh, explain what is meant by the center of gravity of an object. We have discussed this in following in several cases. It is the point um, through which the whole weight of the body is supposed to act. Now the main item is in the other question. So in 3B, I have got a non-uniform plank. So we have to take care of this word, which means non-uniform. It means its center of gravity will not be exactly at the exactly at the uh, middle of wood x y 2.5 meter long so from here to here 2.5 meter long and weighs 950 newton so the weight of this thing is equal to 950 newton force meters uh, or spring balances a and b are attached to the plank at distance of 0 0.40 meter from each end so 0 0.40 meter from here and 0 .40 here so the distance from here to here will be will be so 2.5 minus uh, this minus this so this minus this will be equal to 2.10 meters and this minus this should be equal to equal to equal to equal to 1.70 meters so i might need this data so that's why i i, I write this distance uh, uh, so when the plank is horizontal force meter a recurs 570 newton so this thing recurs 570 newton newton um, calculate the reading on force meter B. So I have to find the reading here. So one thing that we have to remember is that this body is in equilibrium. So when a body is in equilibrium, the total upward force and the total downward force should be equal. So the downward force here is the weight, is the weight, and the upward force here is the sum of these uh, forces at A plus B, forces at A plus B. So downward is weight. And the upward is the sum of forces at A and B. So that's why I must have, what I must have is, so A record records 570. So 570 plus, that is by B is a force B is equal to, the weight is equal to, weight is equal to 950 Newton. So it is 950 Newton. So if we must have FB is equal to 950 minus 570. That will be equal to 0, 5, 7, uh, 8. This is, and um, yeah, it goes 3 so it is 380 Newton so the reading here will be it will be 380 Newton Newton so on figure 3.1 mark a likely position for the center of gravity of the plank so I have to mark a point a probable point for the center of gravity so let us if you look at these things the tension it recurs is high so that means the load here should be somewhat high and the load here should be somewhat less so if the load here is high the cg should be also slightly tilted here not easily center but slightly tilted here so so let's say this is the point of the c this is the point of the cg which i have to i have to mark uh, by some something so see, let me write cg cg here now number three determine the distance of the center of gravity from the end x of the plank so i have to find this thing so this is a CG here. So from the CG, the weight will act like this, like this. So I have to find the distance of this CG from this X, this body X. So first, let us uh, uh, remember that the body, the whole body here is in equilibrium. So that means I can take any of the point as the fixed point I have is, I have is this, this as the fixed point, this as the fixed point. So if so, if so, then this CG will try to move this thing in anticlockwise sense this w will try to move it in any clockwise sense so that's why w into this distance which is d which is unknown here equal to equal to the force meter reads 380 newton here so this force here should be equal to 380 newton so this is 380 newton newton into the distance from here to here is so this will try to move this thing up so that's why from here to here it is 1.70 let me remind that this weight will try to move move this thing in this sense clockwise sense and this force will try to move it in any clockwise sense that's why i matched it so or this w is equal to uh, 950 so this d is equal to 380 into 1.70 divided 950 and 
when you're doing the calculator, so it's 380 into 1.7 divided 950 equal to so it is 0 0.68 meters so this distance from here to here is 0 0.68 meters so the whole distance that is required here is uh, the whole distance required is answer is equal to this d plus this is 0 0.40 0 0.40 so equal to 0 0.68 plus 0 0.40 equal to 1.08 meters so the sense is 1.08 meters from here to here. So this is the answer.